Hello, Grafanatics! Wait, you are not yet a Grafanatic? That is because probably you are looking for ways to get your own Grafana instance so that you can become a Grafanatic. Being that the case, you came to the right place. As today, we will check all the ways in which you can get Grafana in all the supported operating systems and platforms. Grafana is an open source analytics and interactive visualization web application. Such a mouthful, no? It can produce charts, graphs, alerts, and many other things when connected to data sources. It runs in multiple OSs and platforms, such as several Linux distributions, Mac, Windows, and other platforms like Docker and Kubernetes. If you like installers to get your software, Grafana has these ones for multiple platforms. As well, you can also get Grafana by downloading a compressed file containing all the binaries needed to to execute and start Grafana with simple commands. But if you want to skip all this and just start playing with Grafana, you can use Grafana Cloud. You can easily create a free account to get started, link in the corner. But as you are watching this, you may want to know how to do it yourself. So why don't we begin with all the automatic installers per operating system? And then after that, we will go over the binary ways. If you are interested in a particular OS or method, use the chapter down here in the video to quickly jump there. So now let's get native. First, we will go over the automated ways in which you can install Grafana. We will clear the Linux distributions such as Debian and Ubuntu, Red Hat or Fedora, SUSE, then Mac OS, and lastly, Windows. Debian and Ubuntu environments can automatically get Grafana in two ways. First, the most straightforward is to use an APT repository. This has some advantages like easy updates. But before we run the installation command, we may need some prerequisites, keys, repos, and other things. We will be getting all the commands from the Grafana installation page, link in the video description for easy copy and paste. So to start gathering items in your Debian or Ubuntu command line, you must first get all the needed packages, copying and pasting the first command in the page. sudo apt get install, that's why apt transport https software properties common and wget. This step takes a bit as it downloads several things, but after it, we must import the gpg key copying the next command. It is a long command with a lot of things, first with a sudo mkgr to create the directory, then a wget to get all the files needed, and then to put them in the right location. The next step is to add repos or stable or beta releases. I want a stable, so let's copy this one echo with all the information inside, then we can put it in a list. Next, we need to update the packages with sudo apt get update. After you execute this command, this one can also take a little bit if your packages were out of date. And well, after the updates are done, if any, we can finally run the installation by executing sudo apt get install grafana that will install the OSS release. If you want the enterprise release, just add dash enterprise at the end like in the download page. After the process downloads a few things, shows some messages about the installation and some prompts, the system will show some commands to run grafana server to start grafana or to configure it to run automatically. I want just to start it, so let's use this command sudo bin systemctl start Start Grafana dash server. We just have to wait a second, then we can go to our browser and access localhost 3000 to see our Grafana environment starting. Very straightforward, right? Now we just have to use our old admin admin user and password to do any initial steps. Now, if you want to install it by downloading a dev package, you can easily do it by accessing the download page and selecting the version, uh, enterprise or OSS, and if you have an ARM or AMD processor. The most common is AMD and only says Linux. Here first, as the command says, we need to make sure that we have all the dependencies by running sudo apt-get install-y at user libconfig1 and musl. Next, after this executes, we must download the dev file. To get it, we will copy and paste from the Ubuntu and Debian section as well, well for AMD, which is the one that we are running. We paste the wget command with all the URL and the download will start. Now that we have 
the indicated dev file, we can execute it to install Grafana by copying and pasting sudo dpkg-i Grafana Enterprise with the version. And now that we have the indicated dev file, we can execute it to install Grafana by copying and pasting the sudo dpkg command and run it. Make sure that the command has the same file name as the one that was just downloaded in the previous step. Then after some downloading progress and prompts, we can use the commands displayed to configure the Grafana service to start automatically or just start it once. And that's what I want to do. So let's copy this command, sudo bin systemctl start Grafana server. And nice, this will start Grafana. We can now open a browser with localhost 3000 and we will see Grafana running. We have just to type our admin admin and user and password and we will be ready to play in Debian or Ubuntu. In Red Hat and Fedora, there are two ways as well to install Grafana. You can automatically run from the RPM repo with a DNF or get the RPM and execute it yourself. First, to use the DNF, we will get commands from the installation page. Link in the video description. The first thing that we must do is to get our GPGK. For that, we will open a command line and copy and paste the wget command that will get the GPGK and then the sudo rpm command, which will import the GPGK. Next, we need to create one file in this specific location and paste some code needed in it. So first, we will create the file in the location etc jom.repos.d and the file is grafana.repo. For this, we could use the commands sudo touch and the name of the file to create the file and then to open it and paste the content. We can use sudo v and then the name of the file to open it and edit right here. You can use other editors than vi or creation commands, but this is the one quickest that I liked. Let's paste in that file the following code that you can get from the installation page. Again, link in the video description. Once you pasted it, save the file with colon wq and exclamation mark, then return to the command line. And to run the installation command, you can copy it from the web page. Again, sudo dnf install Grafana. This one will install Grafana OSS. But if you want the enterprise version, you can use the same, but at the end, add a dash enterprise to get it. After some downloads, installations, and prompts to confirm, you will see some commands to configure Grafana service to run automatically, but I want these to be run only once. So let's use this command to start it now. sudo bin systemctl and start grafana-server.service. Waiting a few seconds, now we can go to in a browser to localhost 3000 and use the good old admin admin for user and password. Word. And there you have it! You are ready to play with Grafana from Red Hat or Fedora. Now, if you want to run the RPM manually, you must go first to the Grafana download page, uh, again link in the video description. Once in there, select the version, then the edition, and select ARM if you have that system or CPU, otherwise just select Linux. Then scroll down to the Red Hat, CentOS, RHEL, and Fedora, and copy the sudo yum install command, paste it in a command line, and execute it. After the code progresses and prompts you, the installation will have finished and you will see some commands in which you can configure to automatically start Grafana server or to run it manually only once. We want to run it only once, so we will use this command at the bottom. After a few seconds, you can open a browser and go to localhost 3000 and there you will have Grafana ready to play in Red Hat, RHEL, CentOS or Fedora. Again, just use your admin, admin, user and password and you'll be inside ready to play. To install Grafana on SUSE, it's SUSE, not SUSE, not SUSE, it's SUSE, check it out. Well, in SUSE, you can install Grafana using the RPM repository with Cypher. But first, for that we need our GPGK. So let's do that in a command line by copying and pasting from the installation page the wget command that you can see here on the screen. First the wget to get the GPGK and then the sudo rpm to get imported. After that, we need to add the Grafana repo with Cypher by copying and pasting, again from the same page, sudo Cypher, add repo, and then the Grafana information. After that, we need to copy and paste the installation command. 
sudo cypher install grafana. This command will start the grafana installation for grafana OSS. If you want the enterprise version, again just add dash enterprise at the end. After the download and a few prompts uh, finish, you will be able to start Grafana with some of the displayed commands at the bottom, either to boot automatically or just to run once with this command. I want the command to run once only, so I'm gonna grab it and paste it. After that, a few seconds later, you can open a browser to access localhost 3000 and with that, you can use the good old admin admin user and password and you will be all set to use Grafana in SUSE. To automatically install Grafana in macOS is as easy and as simple as just a command using Homebrew. If your system doesn't have Homebrew yet, please install it just by following the link here in the corner. Once you have Homebrew in your macOS, installing Grafana is really simple. As simple as just opening here a command prompt and typing the following, brew install Grafana. That will start some installation and download processes, which after it finishes, you will be able to start Grafana with Brew Services Start Grafana. You may get a security prompt to provide some access, but that's it. After that, you can open a browser and go to localhost 3000, and there you have it, Grafana. Type admin admin as user and password, and you're ready to start playing with Grafana on your Mac. In Windows systems, you can get Grafana through a traditional MSI installer. To get the installer, go to the Grafana downloads page, select the version and edition that you want, and below click on Windows. Then click on download the Windows installer to download it. Once the installer downloads, just double click on it and give it some permission to run and follow up the prompts in a traditional next, 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 as usual, that should work and clicking OK at the end. After the installer finishes, Grafana will be already running as a service. So you can just open a browser, go to localhost 3000, type admin admin as user and password and Grafana will be ready in your Windows operating system so that you can start playing with it. Now, if you prefer to get Grafana through binaries and all of their benefits, such as controlling the file's location, moving them around, or not needing too many permissions to run it, well, it is super easy on all of the operating systems. First, we need to go to the Downloads page. There, you can select the version and the edition. Once selected, choose the operating system where you will need the binaries, either Windows, Mac, Linux on AMD or Intel processors, or if you have Linux on an ARM processor. Binaries will work on all the Linux distributions as long as you choose the right CPU. So, selecting your version, edition and operating system, scroll down to the standalone binary section. You can either click on your browser to start the download or type what's indicated in your command line to start downloading the compressed file, wget, with the file that you want to download. Both of these will start the download process. Now just make sure that you know where the file is downloaded. And once the download completes, you can decompress it using the operating system compression software or in the command line by copying the command under the URL in the download page. The tar cxbf command will uncompress your files just make sure that you type the right file name on this command to be decompressed. Once decompressed, there will be a folder with all the files that Grafana needs to work. So to start Grafana, just go inside of that Grafana folder that you just decompressed. Once inside of the Grafana folder, you will find multiple subfolders, on which there's one called bin. Access the bin folder. Once inside it, you can just run a simple command to start Grafana. If you are in Windows, you can just type Grafana space server. But if you are on Mac OS, you can type instead dot slash Grafana space server. And on Linux distribution, just type dot slash Grafana dash server. If something is needed, you may add sudo at the beginning. After you type the commands, hit enter and generally you will see a bunch of tests scrolling. With that, Grafana will start. Now open a browser, go to localhost 3000 and you will find Grafana ready. 
type admin in user and password to start playing with Grafana running from binaries. As you can see, there are multiple ways in which you can get Grafana up and running in all of your operating systems. But once you have Grafana installed, you may be wondering, hmm, what next? Well, you could check these started videos giving you the first steps. And if you want to create visualizations, check these super cool panels to use at max your new Grafana. Happy dashboarding and have a good one!